tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Hello there everyone, I'm Clown Nebula and today I welcome you to an indie horror adventure game based on a creepypasta, I suppose, called the Symmetry. Or Symmetry if you lived uh, <laughs> in the Black period uh, times. So here we are, let's start with this. I'm very curious uh, about this. Are you ready? I love Symmetry. Whoa, with this voice I believe you do, man. RG Crew presents... A very deep voice. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why, but I've loved it since I was a kid. Are you in the... Most children are messy and forgetful of their things, not me. Are you I in the protection program, man? Place, and in my room, everything was right where it belonged. My okay. parents didn't have it. My grandparents didn't have it either. Not a single person in my family had it. I started referring to... It as it, because I truly believe it's a thing inside me. It's a need, a desire, a longing to be perfect, perfect on both sides. Okay, I see, I feel ya. Actually, I'm the opposite of you. I feel safe in the chaos. Can <laughs> if you ever look at my room, you can see that I kind of see peace in the chaos. I could say. All right, a lovely day for a demon to come out, or someone in the witnesses protection program, or something. All right, here we start our journey. Fix environment. Okay. As an adult, I'm at a point where I can't live my life normally. I can't keep a job. Men don't stay with me because they can't handle it. Honestly, I don't even care when they leave. They're messy and make things difficult. They roll over to my side and be bad in <laughs> They leave dishes in one side of the sink but not the other. I can't work anymore, so when they leave for the day, I have to stay home and fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so not they only leave you. When they leave for good. That feeling never lasts though. Eventually, it comes back and finds something else that needs fixing. You may be asking why should I seek out relationships to begin with if I can't stand them? Well, it's hard for me to sleep in the middle of the bed or not without moving. Okay. I guess the part about uh, rolling into the part of the others, I guess it's a common problem and it's not about uh, a woman actually, I don't know. I'm see, uh, starting to see that uh, you might be a woman at this point. Yeti found in Poland. Uh, is this James Fra James Franco? Prob maybe. It seems like. All right. So he will offer for a good start. Uh, so I fixed a part of my room. Uh. Okay. This seems uh, okay. Symmetric. Uh, all right. Uh, are you having an orgasm while I do this? Okay. Probably you are a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I guess uh, I wonder how you maintain your house. Like this is a beautiful house. How how you maintain that in without uh, having to work? Actually, that's strange. Hey, a mirror. Now I can see my face. Hey, what's up? Oh, I have different uh, color eyes. Okay, that's something I can go for the seam and try unless I scoop out uh, one of them with a spoon. Oh, yeah, I see you're already preparing for eye surgery. Awesome! <laughs> okay, can I fix this? Okay, cool. Fix environment. Yes, I'm doing that. Okay, I'm almost there. I think. Okay, you go like this. Uh, well, more than symmetry, I guess you're going for everything needs to be in order. I suppose. Okay. Am I done? No. Nope. Are you still there? Okay. There's still something I need to look for. Okay. So, lads and girls, are you creeped out yet? I'm a little bit, actually. <laughs> this seems like a, a disturbing story, even though 
I kind of see people having this kind of uh, problem actually. Okay, I need to fix one of these. The spoon or the fork. Okay, that works. But uh, I guess this is not going to the point where it becomes an illness. I mean, I think people can handle it pretty fine and others can understand that. So yeah, there's no need to hide yourself unless you're a murderer. In that case, you're doing very, very a good job. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's check here. Do I need to fix uh, the light or the lamps? Maybe the fire? No. I wonder, it's quite dangerous to have a fire in the middle of the room. Uh, kind of worried about that too. I guess uh, it doesn't contemplate uh, being, uh, you know, safe, actually. Okay. Um, I should have finished, perhaps. My eyes! I can't make them see me tree. I see me try. Okay. Uh, what is this about then? Fix environment. Can I go to the other room? No. Okay. Did you hire me to do your dirty job? <laughs> oh, okay. I think I fixed pretty much everything in this room, ma'am. I don't know what you want me for more. Unknown heaven, true stories, a circle. Okay, I believe those are other creepy pastas. Anything I can fix here? No. They look pretty good. Uh, okay. Actually, there's one thing that is not symmetric. These scraps. So there's one over here. And this one should be in the opposite direction. Ah, you're doing a pretty bad job do keeping your similar try, ma'am. Ah, I'm very disappointed. I think the, the bed must be, you know, put in shape or something. Oh, okay. I need uh, this one. Uh... Okay, done it. Other than the relationship problem, my life is pretty much in order. Okay. I say pretty much because there is one last issue that must be dealt with. Yep, I think which one of these is actually. <laughs> oh god. I don't want to know what will happen. Hey! Hello, sexy. But actually, I really you love see, your different I eyes. Have what's called heterochromia iridium, or two different colored irises. My mm -hmm. right eye has cornflower blue, my left pale green. Both my parents have cornflower blue eyes, my siblings and cousins as well. My green eye is the broken one, it makes me unbalanced. Actually, I really like that. I think it suits you well. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, what is going on? And the stereo died. Another one left me. Why? Okay, go to bed, go to sleep. Oh god. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting starting this adventure. Actually, I really like it, but... Oh, I thought there was someone in here. I guess uh, this will have to do something with uh, scooping out my eyes, I'm pretty sure of that. Another day, another round of putting out symmetries. I wonder if... Approach the mirror again? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why, why in the first place I had to, you know, fix uh, the environment here. I mean, if I'm so much obsessed with the symmetry... When the heck they were, you know, wrong in the... F okay, because maybe someone left my bed this morning. The asshole. Okay. Let's do it very, very calmly. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, it stares right back at me. 
Yep. It's all I think about now. Everything is in its right place, except my green little mistake. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I knew that. <laughs> I kind of knew that, although if I pick one of the spoons, it will be out of symmetry. No, okay, just fix that. Okay, I, th I think I kind of knew that. <laughs> Hold my hand, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, what up? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Q. Do I have to really to do that? E. Q. E. Q. T. E. Space. Okay. And we solved the problem. Although now I don't have an eye, actually. So I guess I need someone to give me an eye, I guess. Oh, hey there. Now are you happy? Was it shock that was keeping the pain away or was it idiot? Oh, take scissors. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> I feel like I'm being reliving the, the scene of uh, Hostel. I don't know if you ever saw that, but in the end, uh, there's a lady that has uh, an eye popping out, but she doesn't realize that until um, she sees herself. She sees herself in a mirror. <laughs> it's kind of like a strange sequence. It kind of <laughs> it's fun in a weird way because it's this eye has been dangling all on her cheek all over the movie <laughs> and then all of a sudden she realizes that and then she does something uh, I don't want to spoil you but <laughs> the revolution was a bit uh, weird uh, grotesquely funny okay it's time to fix the eye even though I can see properly although now I think you have still a problem lady because yeah you're out of symmetry yet again you're in the same problem of the boar and I really liked your different eyes. Again. I snipped the optic nerve and blotted the warm fluids that were streaming down my face. Hmm. My vision being cut in half was a strange sensation. What was left of the dangling flesh, I placed back in the now empty hole. I rested in this room and went to sleep. Uh, okay. So you actually put what's in there on the spoon? Okay. Okay, there's quite some blood. And... Is that the eye? No, it's the spoon. Okay, also... I don't know... I mean, I don't care how much of a psychopath you are. You are. Fuck, there's a cat walking in my car. God damn it. Oh, cats. Oh fuck, hold on a second. I need to make sure it doesn't uh, come in. Okay, it's fine. It's not that they don't like cats, but uh, I'm quite allergic to them, so it's not really good that they come into my home. Especially to eat something, uh, those homeless motherfuckers. Okay, new life, new not an eye. Okay, so now, what's our new task for today? I woke up happy. I slept better than I had in years. <laughs> okay. Finally done. I was fixed. I got out of my bed. My body ached and my head was on fire. The light was blinding. And when I looked up to the mirror, my stomach turned. Because my eye is still there, green as ever. Right? And just sorry, I, <laughs> I don't want to spoil you all the game, but I, I think it's gonna go this way. Anyway, so I was saying, I don't know, I don't care how much of a psychopath you have. It's not like you cut off an eye of yourself, you can't just stand there. Looking at it happily. I mean, you're screaming, crying in pain nonetheless. Don't worry about it. And... The eye is still there. Right? Only no. then had I realized what I'd done to myself and I couldn't believe it. Yep. There was a hole in the left side of my face. But not the right. Oh, okay. I again. <laughs> okay. I guess it's time to scoop out the other one. I guess. 
Take spoon and scissors. Okay, here I go. I guess I, I don't have to question your logic, lady. Also, at, at least make sure they are kind of washed up a little bit. Take spoon and scissors. Where the fuck did I left them? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, can't you buy like a, I don't know, a fake eye, a fake blue eye that would fix the problem? But okay, I guess uh, we're in too much into madness to s to care about that. <laughs> Yay! Fix it. One last time. Wow, lady. I mean. Okay, check the books. Okay. I guess it's time to say goodbye to your eye. Goodbye, bye. I wonder how you're still it's watching. Harder digging out the second eye. My hands were shaking, but when I dug the spoon in, I was several times punctured. Hmm. Okay. Three times before I got it in the right place. Okay. Once the eye popped out, I reached for my scissors to finish the job. The blood from the previous night had tried on the blood, so the scissors didn't hmm. cut very well. Okay. Oh god. I wonder if I don't do the quick time event, uh, perhaps uh, she won't do this? Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure... You actually don't see anymore, I don't think you can see in black and white. Uh. Try to cut too many pieces at once, but the scissors couldn't take it. Yeah, that's what happened with my eye. The hmm. optic nerve was bent between the two eyes, it was stuck. And as I tried desperately and frantically, it got stuck. Mm hmm. Again. Hmm. Oh god. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I should have been dead by now. The weight of these stuck scissors and my hanging eye was unbearable. I knew I couldn't stand it long quick enough to make it to the kitchen to get a knife so I pulled. Oh ho ho ho! Wow! <laughs> okay, you're doing it by hands, okay. Mm -hmm, lovely! <laughs> okay, if you stop watching this video, I... I, I kind of... <laughs> Can I see see why? Now don't worry. For those who are going through with this I with me. Straight out of my head. Okay. The flesh tear from inside my skull. Hmm. I felt it in red bands, pure liquids everywhere. Lovely. I knew <laughs> I was crying, but there was no telling the tears from the blood or the ocular fluid. Hmm. When I heard the wet slap of bloody flesh against the entire floor, I knew I was done. I knew it was done. Mm -hmm. I could live my life now without having to see people's awful, messy, or even nice. Okay. The relief washed over me, and I knew it would last this time. I had never felt this way before. Never had this much hope. As I laid in that cold, wet, sticky tile, I smiled for the first time in years. Okay, as long as you're happy, man. And finally she reached her symmetry. Tiger, tiger. You finally someone handled you well. Created by RG Crew. Well, good job guys, I really enjoyed this game. I am kinda <laughs> creeped out. But uh, I'm very impressed by the, um, the actual the story. It's really, really <laughs> uh, chilling. Thank you for playing and thank you for making the game, actually. I was very, very get into this. Uh, 
it's uh, it has the right balance of atmosphere and creepiness uh, you know it's actually hard to make a, a, a written story so much uh, uh, intense uh, with only the writing but I guess it was put on I mean, if you actually play this game with no eyes uh, such as our protagonist here and just listen it would have been the same creepy story actually I mean just listening to the sounds uh, was very very impressive and I very commend you for that so uh, developers thank you very much for making this game and uh, I wish you the best of luck in making other projects I would be very very interested and uh, pleasure to play some uh, new games from you it's, uh, it was really a nice journey well nice it's a kind of a big word but uh, you know what i mean and i especially thank you for watching uh, those who are still watching uh, which are probably few <laughs> at this moment so for those who came all the way along here or maybe those who skipped to the end because they kind of too grossed out at some point uh, really thank you for watching this video, feel free to comment, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think of this game. Feel free to suggest me some others I should play for you, it's always a pleasure. Don't worry, in my channel if you're new I play also nice games, so don't worry, they are not all like this. Even though sometimes I, it's good to go to some kind of a different kind of horror. And this was also my first uh, intervention to the creepypasta world, if this is a creepypasta, which I can kind of see that so yeah i hope you enjoyed as well and uh, we will see each other again in the next video i will make and remember if you can sleep the clowns are gonna move you a little bit to the right so that you match perfectly the other victim and will eat the good night